Missiles lighting up the night sky over Gaza as fighting intensifies. Israel says Hamas is hiding in civilian infrastructure. Tonight, mounting pressure for a humanitarian pause. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live in Washington with the latest. Ben. Nicole and Calvin, Israel accuses Hamas of using civilians as human shields after a hospital was caught in the crossfire. Flares lit up the Gaza sky Friday night amid explosions aimed at Hamas, the latest round of their attacks against the terror group. And it comes as hours earlier. Civilians were able to flee northern Gaza during an evacuation window to get aid like food, water and metal supplies into the war zone and civilians out during a daily pause in fighting announced by Israel. It will help in enabling people to get out of harm's way. It will help in enabling people to get greater access to humanitarian assistance. There are other steps that uh, we've discussed with, uh, with Israel. In a statement from the White House, President Joe Biden stressed the importance of sustained humanitarian access and the importance of protecting civilians. More than 11,000 civilians have been killed in Gaza, according to the Hamas-run health ministry, as the militant group continues to launch missiles into Israel while Tel Aviv responds. With airstrikes hitting near hospitals Friday morning after the IDF accused Hamas fighters of hiding inside. Something hospital staff in Hamas deny. In the meantime, Saudi Arabia will hold an emergency summit of Arab and Islamic nations on Saturday to discuss the conflict, including a goal to put pressure on the U.S. to do more when it comes to a ceasefire agreement. And again, Israel has made clear a ceasefire will not happen until all hostages are released. Meanwhile, here on Capitol Hill, lawmakers are still trying to find common ground on a spending package for Israel. And it comes as they also face a possible government shutdown one week from today. Reporting live in Washington, D.C., Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Ben.